amazing because I put up um, 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 something on Twitter, you know, a screen on Twitter that said, I am Coptic. Because I was trying to say, where are the Christians? Where are the Christians? You're being slaughtered all over. And now the evangelical community, with Soros money, going into the younger um, generation and being told, don't pay attention to any of that. It's Israel. That's their fault that this is happening. So what, right. what do you do? The great thing about being a supporter of Israel, Glenn, is the truth is on our side. But as you know, if lies are told often enough, the truth becomes irrelevant yep. because no one knows it. We have to tell the truth, and we have to tell it more frequently than the other side's lying. The Telos group that you mentioned is taking 15 groups to Israel every year. We just raised enough money to take our first group this August, our first group of millennial evangelical influencers. We're going to show them the real Israel. They're going to meet Arab Christians and Arab Muslims, but they're going to meet the ones who have the guts to tell the truth about their situation and their suffering. And they're going to meet the Israelis who actually love their country and don't blame their country first. We need to take more than one group how a much year. Is it, how much is it for a group of 15? That's going uh, to be wildly expensive. Well, we're taking a bus of 35. It's $150,000. Okay. We need to do more of it. So In how, addition, do you ra how do you raise the money? Where, where do you go? We go to the people of America, to the Christians of America. No, 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 I mean, America. where do they go? CUFI.org. Okay. CUFI for Christians United for Israel dot okay. org. We have a bare bones operation. Every dollar goes to the cause, and we're playing catch up with guys who have some very wealthy friends. So let me um, offer some commercials on our network for you guys. Thank um, you. I will I'll help you anyway and Thank if you. you they happen to be flying around here and you're either coming or coming back from Israel have them stop here because That'd I have be some great. things to show them great. as well great. historic great. pieces great. that great. they should see so huge okay um, can Thank I ask you. you a question oh, quite honestly how much time do we have about a minute let me let me ask you this John real quick um, what the hell is wrong with the preachers? Good question. The solution to this problem is for the pastors of America to pay attention to what their young people are being told and who's telling them. And they need to get in the pulpits and preach the Bible facts that Israel has the God-given right to exist. They have the God-given right to that country. The borders are explained in Scripture. They have a 3,500-year relationship with the nation of Israel, that Israel is not the responsibility for the Palestinian problem, that this is a very clever anti-Semitic package coming at dangerous. them with a very skillful method of deception. The truth is Israel lives, Israel has the right to exist, and we as Americans should be supportive of Israel and yes, the Palestinians are suffering, but they're not suffering at the hand of Israel. I will tell you that um, the best thing we can do is help people get over and see it. Amen. And I will ask you to go to cufi.org and uh, donate now if you can. I know we asked you for an awful lot. And I'm going to talk to Mercury One and see if we can make another donation there as well. Um, nothing more important than this. I will tell you that our churches have been infiltrated. Our churches, all the social justice churches, you are the target. Amen. Be very, very aware of what's going on. Read more about it and donate at cufi.org. Thanks, guys. Thank you.